Happy Monday, everyone. Today in math, you guys are going to be completing a worksheet that looks just like this. And it says at the top, align the flowers on the line from shortest to longest. So these are the flowers they're talking about. And there are one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, they're all different sizes. So when we talk about shortest to longest, I have an example here. Our friend the pointer stick. Okay, so my friend the pointer stick. And then the other item I found was a pencil. So if I put them next to each other, which one is shorter and which one is longer? And that's what they're talking about with the flowers. So let me know, what do you think? Which one's shorter? If you said the pencil, you're right. And which one's longer? Let's see, can you see it like, yeah, this is the best. The pointer, so the pointer is longer than the pencil. So on our worksheet, we are going to cut out our flowers first. We'll cut um, all of these flowers separately. So let me just cut one and show you what you're going to do. You'll need scissors and glue. And then once you finish cutting all your flowers, you'll place them up here. And the directions say that they want you to line them from shortest to longest. So if I look at this flower and I compare it to these other ones, is it shorter or longer? I think cutting out all of your flowers is going to be the best um, idea so that you can have them all. So let's cut out all of our flowers first. You guys can cut with me. And if I'm going too fast, you can pause it. Or you can say, Mrs. West, slow down. Okay. Oh, I have a little baby one right here. And then I have two more to cut. So we're cutting. We're doing our best job cutting, right? Practicing that skill. Nice and straight. These are straight lines, so that's nice. And presto changeo. Mrs. West is done. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my flowers from um, shortest to longest. So I will look at all these flowers on my table and I will say which one's shorter and which one's longer. Then, once I find my shortest, I'm going to glue it on my paper just like this. And then I will go all the way until the tallest flower. And then down below, you guys are going to count, um, uh, add these equations. So the first one says three plus two. You guys might have Legos at home, but just like in class, you could use manipulatives. So today I brought snap cubes, but you could use Legos. And I have three one, two, three, plus two more. One, two, and if I put them together, I would count all of them. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two equals five, and you would write the number five. All right, you guys, good job. Keep up the good work.